Mars entry, descent, and landing. Musculoskeletal contribution to the control of locomotion. A new type of optical breathalyzer. Issues of frustration. Assistive technology and cochlear implants. Morphing wings for, for use on Mars. Poetry in the 19th century. French film. Literary and historical analysis. Single stage to orbit launch vehicle. Sonification. Emerging materials within architecture. Testing the stress loads of composite giants. Helicopter for use on Saturn's moon Titan. I was part of the Space Systems Design Lab at Georgia Tech, designing or helping to design a helicopter for use on Saturn's moon Titan. I, I was the power and structures engineer for that. My final project that lasted about the next two years was on Mars entry, descent, and landing, uh, and how to get how to do that for humans because it's a very hard problem because there's not a lot of air on Mars or carbon dioxide as it, as it would be. My research primarily involves sonification, which is essentially um, displaying information via sound. Specifically, I work with auditory menus. And what that is is um, on small electronic devices, when you have the interface menu to try to get to where you want to go, what functionality you want to use, we are trying to develop um, specific functionality that will help people get through those menus using sound, particularly for the use um, of visually impaired people, the blind, and even temporarily visually impaired people such as firefighters and even people driving their cars. What I'm working on is a new type of an optical breathalyzer. So um, the idea here is to use uh, properties of holography and spectroscopy. Um, our eventual goal is to make something that can measure a person's blood alcohol content without having to do an, ex like an expensive blood test and it will be more robust, more versatile than like the typical breathalyzer that we have right now. My research method was literary and historical analysis. So I pretty much read and wrote a lot. I started off with the broad topic of the history of pain and through my research I ended up narrowing that down and focusing in on um, the pain of childbirth and Christianity's influence on the perceptions of childbirthing pain in early modern Europe. In the fall, I'll start just doing basic research on assistive technology and cochlear implants and how they're used to help those who are deaf, as well as other technology that's out there. And I'll even be approaching it from the, uh, the controversial issues behind um, using technology for who are deaf. Basically the research lab is understanding the neural and musculoskeletal contribution to the control of locomotion. So it's basically lead to better understanding of uh, pathological or um, genetic disease that can affect the locomotion. Their job is to uh, use a rat and use trans a neuron transmitter in different type of drugs and mark joints and find out the angles of the joint and speed um, has to do also with uh, this type of um, neurotransmitters. So my job basically was uh, to collect data where then later on can be analyzed. We started off looking more on the role that humans have in regards to nature and specifically how we can see representations of that through poetry in the 19th century. So I looked a lot um, at different poets in the 19th century, but I settled finally on one specific poet, Keats, and one specific poem, um, To Autumn. And so I looked at that poem and how it represents a less traditional view on how humans should relate to nature. I guess how we should see um, a successful relationship between humans and the landscape. My venue was to study emerging materials within architecture from a digital standpoint. How does one begin to assess material properties in uh, different uh, digital programs? As I started my sophomore year, I, uh, I held an independent study through the Fox Theater where I was studying uh, issues of restoration, dealing with sort of interior restoration of plaster, paint stenciling, upholstery of the furniture, carpeting certain parts of the Fox Theater, 
including photographs and artifacts that are found within the Fox Theater. So through the Fox Theater, it was essentially a research of the different venues of restoration that one could take, and at the same time, I was learning a lot about the history of the Fox and the history of Atlanta that I probably would have never really learned had I not had the experience to work through restoration within my field of architecture.